Tonight in our special series, State of the Sound, we are going underwater for a rare look at the kelp beds of Camino Island. King 5's Christine Pay shows us how a new monitoring project relies on more than just scientists. The Northwest is rich with acres of lush evergreen trees that you can see. But beneath the waters of Puget Sound, there's another kind of forest that most of us don't ever see. When we think about forests, most people are thinking about terrestrial forests, right? Okay, but these are underwater forests that are doing incredible work in terms of absorbing carbon dioxide, turning it into food that supports us. She's talking about bull kelp, a seaweed that is as hardworking as it is in trouble. We are definitely seeing declines in kelp forests in parts of Puget Sound. Betsy Peabody heads the Puget Sound Restoration Fund, a nonprofit dedicated to recovering the marine life of the sound. Kelp matters, she says, because when they decline, so do the creatures and marine ecosystems rely on, including the seafood that we eat. The Southern Sound has seen an 80% loss in bull kelp forests in the last 50 years, according to the fund. In the Central Sound, there are places where kelp forests have disappeared entirely around Bainbridge Island. So clearly there's a connection between places where kelp forests can thrive and places where maybe the temperature is too warm. With the support of the Paul G. Allen Family Foundation, the group launched a new project to try to figure out why. A kelp monitoring program will expand to 14 stations throughout the sound from the Strait of Juan de Fuca to Squaxin Island near Olympia. Peabody says kelp research has been limited to observations at the surface level this time. We're going to be doing underwater ecological monitoring with divers. Problem is they need divers. And that's where Brad Giles comes into play. I'm just a recreational diver who loves the underwater world. Giles owns a dive shop in Marysville. He heard about the kelp monitoring project through the Reef Check Foundation. Two meters by 30 meters. The group that's training volunteer divers to be underwater scientists. You ready to do it? Yeah. Okay. Gathering measurements, water temperature, and pictures of the creatures they see. Giles signed up. I felt you know, this is an opportunity that I can get out here and give back into the dive community and to the community in general. On a chilly day in late April, they geared up. The nice signal for air like this. For training at Camino Island State Park, a spot where kelp uniquely grows all year round. Giles and his diving partner cross a rocky beach. It's beautiful above water and it's beautiful below water. And walk straight into the choppy water. Toward a vision that Giles says is incomparable. The underwater world is so beautiful here. You know, we're so fortunate in Washington that we have just this beautiful landscape. Not just anyone can get into this water like these experienced divers can. They are essentially the eyes of this important research to provide critical data and images. Data that is passed on to the Puget Sound Restoration Fund's research. This is a way to get them involved in monitoring those kelp forests in a systematic way using the same protocols that our scientific divers use. After an hour or so, they're back. This is awesome. They're really cool. The kelp monitoring project will go on for at least three years, and with the eyes of these ordinary divers, they hope to learn something extraordinary. And if we're not watching, we're not going to see what actions we need to be taking. These kelp beds waiting in the silent waters to be rescued. On Camino Island, Christine Pei, King 5 News.